Hi, I'm Lily Cock, and welcome to my Cox Kitchen. I'm here today to share a very special recipe with you, which I am assured is a classic of Canadian cuisine. Of course, I refer to the bunion onion. Now, you may be saying, a bunion onion? Is that anything like a lemon onion? A classic appetizer from Outback Steakhouse? The answer is, of course not, it's legally distinct. Anyway, let's prepare our onion. First, let's set up our fryer. I here happen to have a fryer, which I happen to acquire from a cursed Quebecois kitchen shop that appeared and then disappeared overnight. If you do not happen to have cursed Canadian cookware, you can also just heat up your oil in a large pot. And I'm going to fill up more oil. While our oil is heating up, let's prepare the onion. You want to make sure that it's a nice big onion though. Not the little tiny uh, thing. You want it to be as big as can. Start in a normal way. You're just going to cut off the top of the onion. Just the top. And you're going to peel If you're like me and you come prepared, you of course already have a bone onion maker. This was also purchased in a cursed kitchen store. Thank you. Might have been a different cursed store. You put your onion on, the sunja, you line up your size, you make sure it's nice and centered, and you push. Whoa! Blow me on you. This is a very useless kitchen gadget that I don't use very often, but you know what? When I do, it's so much fun. Just like that, a bloomed onion. Now, let's say that you are not prepared and you do not own your own beautiful bloomed onion maker. Not to worry. You can do this without the bloomed onion maker. I have no idea how they actually did this in Buck Blue Creek. I assume they had a tool like this. Now it's time to batter them. Pack a couple of eggs into this. Some regular old flour, a decent amount of salt, smoked paprika, and some black pepper. Are these spices Canadian? Sure. If you've got a nicely cleaned onion, you're gonna spread it out a little bit. Get those bunion blooms. Ready to go. I'm gonna take my onion, fully beautifully bloomed, place it right upside down in the pan, and put that right in my oil. Mm -hmm. I never had any like bell effects from using a cursed fryer. Hopefully that stays that way. I don't know what that would be in a Quebecois fryer. Just start speaking French all the time. Oh Canada, my home and native land. Oh Canada, when onions are the man. That looks good. You can fry it up as much as you want in order to make it look the color that you want, but bam! That there is a bloomed onion. Oh, Canada, bunny onions on the man. 